guys, my name is Bianca Hawk and I'm a traditional media artist and illustrator. Today I'm going to be talking about emotion behind art and how that is affected by the composition and the choices you make as an artist and how this might also relate back to photography. So please join me on this quick tour. As an artist, emotions feed the content I create. If it's a piece just for me, or something I plan to put up for sale, the mood depends on how I feel that day, and it actually affects the whole picture, the color choice, the composition, everything. If it's a piece for a client, I try to empathize with the mood they want, or I try to create a mood I think is fitting, depending on the directions they've given me, or the reference picture provided. For my two most recent pieces, I had to compose very different moods and very similar content. In Project Pookie, I wanted to evoke joy, and that shows in the reference I chose. The color scheme, the positioning, basically the whole composition. In my second project, a piece named Ferodo, after the pet that passed away, the reference photo I was given actually had quite dramatic lighting, which makes for a beautiful photograph. But when it comes to painting, it makes it quite difficult when you're trying to evoke a specific mood. I didn't want the piece to be as dark as the reference photo, because it was supposed to be uplifting and to give hope, because even though the pet was gone, he was still very much loved. I just wanted to create a beautiful piece in remembrance of him, and not have to worry too much about how the lighting came out. Is it exactly like the reference photo? It was more about the feeling, that it was the sweet, happy pet in the picture, and not about making fancy brushstrokes or creating a specific hue. The role of composition in my artwork is always key, just like in photography. Anything that is centered is always eye-catching and most striking, and when you're an artist who works with traditional media, you also need to think about what's best for framing. This actually may affect aesthetic choices you make in your piece. However, something that is a bit off-center is usually more interesting for the client, so that's also another angle I sometimes like to try to use in my work. As was the case with Ferodo's painting, dramatic lighting is always captivating, but when you do it wrong, it can actually change the mood of the painting. So just like in photography, as a painter, I need to choose the right light through my color choices to evoke the emotions I'm feeling and that I want to carry across to my viewers. So as you guys can see, composition and emotion are inextricable from any medium in art, and I think that's amazing. And a good composition can evoke any kind of emotion that you want, as long as you know what you're doing. So skill is obviously key. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this quick journey, and I hope to see you guys in the future. Thanks so much. Bye!